Game 5, the 2017 NBA Finals in the 2016-17 season ended on Monday evening, with Golden State's 129-120 championship win over the Cleveland Cavaliers. We can't chuck away a campaign, though, without at first acknowledging each end of the title spectrum. Steve Kerr's heard the strains of We Are the Champions before. He won five NBA championships as a player and offered perhaps the loudest belts during the Warriors' 2015 championship just prior to the head coach's debilitating back surgery. Kerr made it back in time to watch Cleveland celebrate under the strains in 2016 but had to sit out for a goodly chunk of this postseason before standing front and center for Golden State's clincher in Game 5. There Kerr was, though, shaping his team's rotation on the fly winning a seventh title before gnashing his way into a smile at the same center court where he will receive his seventh NBA championship ring this fall. Having earned it with a fascinating blend of styles and sense, taking equal parts from coaching tropes both certain and evolving. On court and off. After a poor attempt at shuffling away from ABC's Doris Burke at the championship award podium, foot speed was never one of Kerr's strengths as a player. The coach fell back on his instinctual brand of wise ass when speaking to the national television audience. Well, we had very little talent, actually. It was mostly coaching. Kerr, in case the humorless were not on board, shifted. I've got the best job in the world, he reminded, with Draymond Green and his button cute daughter dancing beside Kerr. The ABC camera shifted to Javeler McGee, who had worked through seven coaches in eight infamous seasons before winning a title as a helpful bit player in Golden State. Under Kerr, his ninth coach, who also gets to coach four All-Stars. These guys are so gifted, and so committed to each other, and so unselfish. I love the players, love the coaches, general manager, Bob Myers has been such a great friend to me over the years, Kerr acknowledged. He then credited assistant coach Mike Brown who turned in an 11-0 record as Warriors interim head coach, during the playoffs no less, while Kerr sat out due to complications from that 2016 back surgery. I want to say a special thank you to Mike Brown, and my whole coaching staff, for keeping the ship sailing smoothly while I was out. Kerr could rely on Brown and his remarkable staff to keep the fire, that was never in question. Nor was Golden State's inevitable return to the championship podium. Bad or even average coaching was never stopping this team. Brown and the rest of the staff reminded of their medal and talent by working at peak capacity in that undefeated run. What was in question was Steve Kerr's presence, as the NBA expectedly suffered for his absence during his time spent away from the sidelines, despite some notable return appearances. In the end, we had him throughout, minding the store in the Game 5 comeback win, taking the stage as he should after sweating through a suit. Steve Kerr has pulled confetti off his tongue before, so Monday night celebrations will rank as nothing new. After a fruitless 2015-16 spent half away and a 2017 run that threatened to leave him sidelined for the title game, this return ranks as something special. In a career full of remarkable, legendary moments, Steve Kerr may have just given himself his lead highlight. Stephen K.D. Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant ran the MVP game for three years between 2014 and 16, so recently that their successor has yet to be named, and it showed throughout these finals. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.